you know, I, I was able to fellowship with some really good people tonight. I love conversation. Food and fellowship, if you have that going on, I don't care where you are. If I'm in your city, let me know because I love to sit down, eat, and talk. Love eating, and I like having deep, meaningful conversations. And one of the questions that was asked tonight was, what is the hardest thing about relationships? And there were some really good answers. We all gave some really good responses, really engaging. But one other thing I thought about also is that as much as we love when relationships go right, relationships are always good until it's not. But what do we know about things that are being tested? You, don't, you never know what you have until it's been tested. You'll never know how strong you are. I don't care how much weight you lift in the gym until you have to, if so, let's say a dog got ran over by a car, you have to lift the car or help lift the car off of the dog. You will never know how strong your faith is until something tests your faith in God. You'll never know how strong you can be emotionally until you went through your first breakup or another breakup or a divorce. You never know how resilient you will be until trials and tribulations come into your life. And until we realize that, even when it comes to relationships, we'll never know the value or, or what we have in a relationship until it's been tested. And you can believe it's being tested because the devil never wants something that God has brought together to stay together. He likes when it's separated so that way he can tempt either one or both parties to stay apart. We're stronger together than we are apart. And the moment that we can get apart is when we're vulnerable to be tempted. We have to be careful when we think about things like that or when we're going through situations and relationships. It, yes, it's all a part of the process. Yes, it's, it's important to know exactly what you have. But at the same time, you got to be appreciative of the test. You have to be appreciative of the trials. There's light on the other side of the tunnel, but are you willing to walk through that tunnel to get to the light? Are you willing to, to work things out? It's easy when, it's, when, it, when a person is lovable, but it's hard to love them when they're unlovable. Are you willing to love that person through the situation? Are you willing to put in the work that's necessary in order for the relationship to survive? Are you willing to fight or will you flight? Fight or flight syndrome is very common in relationships. But which one are you going to choose? Are you going to stand there, put up your dukes? Or are you going to let that devil take your lunch money and take your spouse? He's waiting to stick you up. What you going to do? Fight or flight?